Alright guys, so I got these pod buttons off this old board and they're original to the show, that's what they use in the show, the exact ones. Um, if you happen to find some of these, uh, you'll notice they're soldered on the back side, so you gotta desolder them. Um, this is a good tool for that, uh, one of these suction things. You heat up the solder and then you just put this up to it and you suck up the the resin. Or there's also a desoldering brand, braid. You put this on there when you're heating it up and it kind of sticks to the braid. That works good too. Um, I got one more other thing. And that's this um, desoldering iron right here. And it, well, pretty much this thing has, uh, it heats it up and it sucks it at the same time. You just squeeze on that. But I'm going to try this one that I have here first. I wanted to get this on camera, but my GoPro is dead. So I'm charging it. And I'll just have to do it off camera because I'm not going to hold this while I'm doing this. I need both hands. Alright, these caps come off. They just pull right out. And once you keep on soldering it in the back, eventually it keeps sucking up the solder. Eventually they'll pop out. Just got to keep heating up the legs until they work themselves out of there. And then that's how you get them out of this board. So one down. Uh, 20 something to go. Because <laughs> there's actually, in this board, there's 10, 11, 12 in each board. So, fun stuff.
This one is from uh, Jupiter, Vincenzo, maybe KRW, they all make this one. Itigini. And look how close it is to the original. Take this cap off. You can see it's pretty close in size. Only difference I could see is the side, it's all black on the original. And here is board number two to desolder. All right, finally finished desoldering these damn buttons. It took me, I don't know, three, four hours. I don't even know. I didn't count, but several hours to get these things unsoldered. And I ended up using this thing right here. With, it's a desoldering iron. That seems to work the best. And now what I got to do is I got to drill the third hole and this one's only got two so if you're going to use these ones that you drill two holes yeah but the middle hole's missing got to drill all the way through the button all right so yeah i got to drill holes add the yellow lead in there and then i gotta work on soldering this to a board it's been a while since i soldered one of these or a decade so, switches, I think they're pretty simple. It's just got three legs on it and the other, and then the, the legs for the um, LEDs. So what I usually do is run the red and yellow on all the time and leave the green one where it goes on only when pressed. So you got to figure out how you want to solder these. And you got to use resistors on those LEDs on the negative or the positive side. Um, yeah, little resistors like that. So you gotta leave some space on your proto board to uh, for those for um, the little legs of the resistors and stuff. So I can't remember how I did it. It's been years, but uh, I'll figure it out. Also, want to show you uh, this next to uh, an aftermarket one. You can see they look pretty close. Aftermarket ones actually look a bit nicer. Just the fact that it's all lined up, all nice and stuff. Um, but yeah, this this is not an original, so it's nice to have an original if you're, you know, a stickler for the original stuff. You can just tell the boards from the side view is where you can tell that it's an original. See the side view right there. And then see this one side view you can tell they're like acrylics cut out so yeah that's that's a side view next to it and uh, I know this ain't for everybody but um it's kind of a fun thing fun hobby thing to do